So, about a week ago, Bushfield did this big Japanese conference thing for the season, and I was gonna do a cool blind reaction video thing like all the cool kids, but honestly, nothing I could do could be different fights pop offs. Back at zero! So Your boy definitely deserved it though with everything they announced. Long story short, Bandless doesn't really do too much besides make Shiri Nui technically an illegal deck to play out of the box, and cool new set announcements. I'm personally excited for the Dayusha encounter and seeing my big girl Lifla get all dressed up. But that's not what we're here to discuss today. I want to focus on the thing that I'm most excited for as a day one card fighter that recently got into Shadowverse. Both. That's right, my guys, Shadowverse Evolve is doing a classic Vanguard crossover. So, Shadowverse. This little game that's been going on for ages in Japan and through its classic Shadowverse app game, which is about to get a new version coming out this summer. We'll talk about that later. It's been out for just about you now here in the land of the free. Use automatically generated energy to play things, evolve your guys, and have a simplified variant of the Magic the Gathering formula where you start at 20 life with limited interaction on your opponent's turn and play mostly creature and enchantment kind of cards like a burr. Cool story, fun times, but what does that really have to do with Vanguard? Really? I just did a video on the blasters. Well, I guess what better way to introduce Vanguard peeps to another bunch of your games than reintroduce them to our classic avatars. We got Blaster Blade, Dragonic Overlord, Tsukiyomi, the other half of MLB, Maelstrom, and the Pale Moon Girl that Asuka played after she played Nightmare Dolls. But that's fine because we still get the OG Pale Moon Girl Best Girl as a leader card, along with the other respective players of those guys that I just mentioned. And I need that one specifically. Okay. Alright, the OG Vanguard squad has come to Shadowverse. Cool story, Shadowverse is no stranger to crossovers. As of now, the English version alone has some horse girls, is just about to get some Kogias alt arts in the set that's dropped soon, and apparently a lot of the characters are based on other side game properties. I don't know, I only play this one. Question is, what will these Champions of Kray be bringing to the tales of crossing worlds to stop some crazy chick, or cool anime school squad doing what they do best? I think that's what the plot's about. All I'll say is that these girls are Toku AF, Demonium is my goat, and Light's a pretty cool dude, so I wouldn't mind randomly throwing together Leviathan if I ever able to dragon deck. Which you'd help me do by picking up some cards on my TCG player page so I can afford to make more decks to show off the future content. Wank. Luckily for us though, a bunch of info just got dumped in the latest Tuesday stream, so we already know a pretty decent amount. Cardfight Vanguard is a pretty unique game because your main guy has the ability to perform a drive check, adding extra cards to your hand during battle and tempting the interactive guard mechanic by randomly chancing into powerful trigger cards. In Shadowverse, that's what our Vanguard friends will do. Kind of. Drive points are a new kind of card that go into your 10 card evolve deck and are linked to our avatars to give them the ride status and allow them to do drive checks. Right there is a massively fair way to handle things, since your evolved deck, like I said, is limited to having exactly 10 cards, and has to share space with whatever dudes you want to evolve, and those delicious carrots if you happen to run the Uwa Musume things I glossed over, because the only one I care about is some science chick that goes in Runecraft, and is apparently super expensive. So, unless you want to completely forego the game's main mechanic and just kind of play Vanguard inside of another card game, you're not going to be making too many of you guys Vanguards. As for these draft checks themselves, in Vanguard, you add the top card of your deck to your hand mid-battle. So how does Shadowverse handle this? Well, you still reveal a card when it attacks with Drive, but this time it doesn't really go to your hand. Now, if you see a trigger, it goes to the cemetery after resolving, and if it's not a trigger, it just kind of goes to the bottom of your deck like what Luhan does with his horse things. I wonder if it's too late to do a video on the Triple Drive duo. Like, comment, and subscribe, maybe I will. This is pretty good though because it doesn't draw you cards, so you're not really not any advantage over it over a non-drive checking deck. And I can still see it kind of benefiting your dark type things like the Abyss Craft or whatever it's called dark deck that likes to have cards in Cemetery we could probably want to run. What is the dark one? Blaster Dark. Oh god, Blaster Dark's gonna be insane. And stacking a bomb deck is pretty nice because Shadowverse doesn't really have any card draw mechanics other than just playing cards that let you draw cards, or playing cards that let you scry, whatever. So typically things that go to the bottom you're not going to be able to see for the rest of the game, unless otherwise tutored. The triggers themselves? They're a nice little remix of the classic Vanguard triggers. So, no fronts, no over triggers, just crits, draws, heals, and... stands are back. Cool! Let's break down how they work now. Crits give your followers two attack permanently. This is a nice buff since the primary way to deal damage in this game is to swing with your guys, so big attack equals big damage and a way to get rid of bigger enemy troops. Nice alternative to punching them in the face more by letting your monsters themselves get larger. 
Draw trigger still will draw cards, no big deals there. And a heal trigger gives your leader 3 defense, aka gaining 3 life, aka healing 3, which is pretty vibe. And stance? I'll give you about 5 seconds to guess what stand trigger can do here. They take control of one of your rested followers and make them stand back up into the reserve state at the cost of not being able to attack their leader directly that turn. Which is a great workaround to stop you from just running 16 stands somehow to just do stupid busted OTKs. Reserving is pretty nice too since in this game you could typically only attack a dude once it's rested, so resetting them will protect them from being targeted outside of that little fancy assail ability that lets you kind of screw the rules. And that's the basics for now. We did get a decent amount of trial deck reveals day one, but I feel like I should save a deck breakdown for a different vid once we know just what everything does. For now, I'll say that Royal feels very... Royal. You get some Search, you get some Blast Blade Destruction, you get some Alfred Searching, and King Fettuccine Alfredo has the coolest evolution ever, starting as Alfred early and evolving into the King of Knights himself. Also, Dragonic Overlord does classic recent things just like any Overlord ever would. Do. So what do you guys think? Are you joining the Shadowverse Evolve army? Are you going to try card fight Vanguard now as a Shadowverse player because some of the guys look cool? What are your guesses on what these other bosses do that haven't been revealed yet? How much do you care that this is straight up nostalgia pandering? Make sure you discuss all that kind of stuff down below and wait what happened to my hoodie? I mean I vibe with it because I'm a day one Blaster Blade player. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's a little on the shorter side. I was trying to leave some space open on socials to get hot takes added into the subject, but I guess nobody cares about me, so... If you like what I do here and want to help support the channel, make sure to pick up some Ray's energy using code SKYRIDGE to save 15% online, or of course check out my TCG player. And if you do hear this channel, hit the, hit the sub please, that'd be great. Until next time, if you guys enjoyed this video, here's a- there's- there's some- there's some. Make sure you check them out, they're cool. And always, embrace the infinite.